What's up, me bags? It's the often imitated, never duplicated Tony TGD, and what you're looking at here on your screen is an Intellivision Amico Dev Kit. It is signed by several members of the Intellivision Entertainment team. You got Tommy Tellerico signature, uh, John Alvarado, uh, Bill Fisher, Mike Dietz, uh, several others. Uh, we'll, we'll go through. They got a list here. It is it's, uh, signed by Tommy Tellerico, Bill Fisher, Steve Roney, John Alvarado, Slade Simpson, Mike Costco, Mike Dietz, Phil Adam, and Ed Schofield. Now, this uh, particular item was donated by Intellivision Entertainment. It was uh, part of the Chalk Foundation's children's charity auction. As you can see on the screen, it went for a small sum of uh, $2,125. There was 43 bids, seven people watching this item. It is now closed, it has now been finished. This is the final price. This is what it's going for. This is what it went for. Somebody has a piece of Amico history headed towards their house, and I am astounded that no one else is talking about this. I am uh, flabbergasted, taken aback, if you will. I figured uh, OEB Pete. You know, Smash JT, Retro Bro. I figured all of them guys would be, you know, discussing this, talking about it, cheering it on. You know, I'm not sure why this channel, the number one unbiased Amico coverage on YouTube, is the only one talking about it. But here we are. You know, this was a good thing. Now, uh, I was going to cover this as it was progressing, but it had kind of stagnated. There wasn't a lot of uh, movement with the bids at one point, so I just kind of. You know, sat on it. My my fault. My apologies. I should have uh, been on this from the beginning. I did talk about it a little bit on uh, Discord. We were discussing it. You know what it was going for. Now this is just a shell. There is no guts in it. It is empty. Uh, Tommy did say that uh, if you bought an Amico, you would be able to swap this shell onto a uh, retail Amico. I'm assuming that there's not going to be much design change as far as shape. And uh, how much area is inside, how much room is inside the uh, dev kit shell here. But this is a uh, piece of gaming history, a piece of uh, Amico history. And uh, I look forward to seeing the video of who got this, who's going to parade it out, who's going to have it in the background of their videos, showing it off, letting people know that they uh, have this piece of Amico history. It's going to be interesting. You know, maybe it's uh, the number one. Amico fan, maybe it's OEB Pete will have it in the background. Maybe we'll get a nice little Smash JT Easter egg with this. Perhaps uh, Atari Creep bought it. Who knows? No one is talking. Everyone is silent. But we'll figure it out. We'll find out and uh, we'll give them a little pat on the back. You know, doing things for charity, doing things like this is uh, always good in my book. I appreciate it. I always uh, give props where it's due. So uh, good job in television raising that $2,100. Uh, good job for whoever it is that uh, bought this. You know, whoever bid on it, you guys were doing a good job too. So uh, props all around. And uh, that's uh, really all I got to say about this. We will see you on Monday for that post-E3 Amico coverage. But you know how we do it here. Love, peace, booty grease. We out this bitch.